done. I don't know if you guys can like uh, see anything different in my room. Looks pretty much the same, but you know, there's just something different about this room. Something different about it. All right, so it is just about 10:30 in the morning. I got all my stuff done. I'm all clean. I have edited the video from yesterday. I started editing it last night. Fell asleep in the middle of it, and I just finished it uh, this morning. So it'll go up today as per usual. But my mom, at like 8:50 in the morning or whatever, like woke me up because she was moving stuff around in my room. Cause I don't know if you guys remember, there used to be a bookcase right there and a chair down there. And now there isn't, there's just this big wardrobe. So that was kinda, I think it was kinda like their birthday gift to me and it just kinda needed to be done. I was a little upset with my mom this morning, not gonna lie, uh, but it was just because I was tired. Like, you know, you don't usually get up that early to do things, at least not to like move something. And this thing's heavy, so like we had to move it because it doesn't, it doesn't fit through that that door there like it's it's too high for that door frame so we have to like tilt it like backwards and forward and backwards and forward and pull and push and it's just really annoying so for the most part that's why i was mad um at my mom i was just tired in general too so mom when you're watching this don't take offense i was mad but i wasn't mad i was just cranky and tired but it does look nice i really do like it actually it's got like all these compartments in here like there's my graduation gown oh my god the memories that was literally like four months ago wow that was four months ago holy crap and i got some like regular dress shirts and stuff like that some shoes i probably put all my shoes in there and then down there is gonna have uh i have jackets down there right now but probably put some different stuff but yeah also today is sunday now if you are not an american citizen or you just don't know about football like american football in general Sunday is game day. And if you guys don't know who my favorite team is, it's pretty obvious. I mean, if the purple and yellow helmet doesn't really give it away, and the number 28 on there, I don't really know what else to say. But yeah, so if you guys are following football, you'll know that the Vikings are actually undefeated right now. Um, the Vikings have never won a Super Bowl. They've been to the Super Bowl like four times, uh, but they've lost all of them. I'm pretty sure they lost pretty badly to all of them. We're undefeated right now. We're the only undefeated team in the NFL right now, which is so crazy considering like all the other good teams like the Patriots. Um, we just we beat Carolina. Like Carolina was just in the Super Bowl, what, last year? I can't remember. I hope it was last year. I don't sound like a fool. But yeah, so like what I'm trying to get at is this is huge for the Vikings. Our defense is like crazy good right now. We got Harry Hitman. We have Terrence Newman, the veteran, as our one cornerback. We just, we have a lot of weapons too. Like a lot of offensive weapons. And, but today's game, today's game is important. There's two reasons why today's game is important, okay? One, we're undefeated, which means we, it puts more pressure on us to win because we're the only undefeated team left. Two, it's the Eagles, and the Eagles have, I forget, I never can remember the quarterback's name. All I know is he's really good. They just had a bad week last week, and they only lost by one point for the Eagles' first loss. So, that's the only reason that I'm a little bit scared for today, because the Vikings, they don't do good under pressure. Oh, a third reason. A lot of my friends are Eagles fans, Max, John, just a lot of people in general around this area are Eagles fans, and it would be so nice if the Vikings could just beat them. This time, this time like actually matters. If we could beat them this time, I would be completely content. But yeah, that's the football talk. Just wanted to uh, bring that up because I'm probably going to go over to Tony's and watch the football and you'll probably see a little bit of football clips. Just saying. See you as you are, villain in your veins, why you gotta show? Alright guys, so I'm going to head out now to Tony's house, because Tony's is where, you know, football is. First, obviously gonna make a Duncan stop, but I don't think I'll film until I get to Tony's house, because I don't want these, like, cinematics of me driving to get too boring. So, I'll see you guys at Tony's house. Alright guys, so I am at Tony's house right now, and Tony actually Tony actually has some things that he had planned already. I felt kind of bad because he felt bad for me coming out here to watch the Vikings game. Because I usually come over to his house to watch it. Um, he probably just didn't know that I had off because usually my work schedule fluctuates. 
but he had plans already to go out with a couple friends to watch the game and he's going to be the only one representing the Vikings. Everyone else is an Eagles fan. So hopefully the Vikings do pull this off. But yeah, so I'm probably just going to chill here for a little bit, maybe watch the beginning of the game, see how it goes. If I see that we start losing or if it's pretty equal, I might watch the whole game. But I do want to go out and actually do some stuff today. I'm trying to live, I'm trying to rise above the shit that the devil tries, which is why I'll keep my eyes to the sky. Sorry, Eagles. Interception, baby. Woo! Let's go, Vikings. 7 nothing. Let's make it happen. No. No! Oh, my God. Turnover after turnover. Eagles get it back, but it doesn't matter. Because the Vikings are in town. What is this football game? Literally the next play. Bradford is stripped. Please turn this around. Oh no. No bueno. Oh my god, guys. Freaking Xavier has just intercepted it. What is this game? Literally, in the last like minute, there's been five turnovers. Three from the Eagles, two from the Vikings. What is going on? This is so, like, not like the Vikings for one. And it's just, I've never seen this before. This is crazy. All right, so this is the score currently. Uh, Eagles are winning. I think I'm gonna leave the house now <laughs> because I'm getting so angry at the Vikings. Like, they're blowing it. I mean, the Eagles are definitely putting up a great fight. Like, the Eagles are a good team. It's just like, I would have expected a little bit more effort out of the Vikings right now. So yeah, I'm done with this game. Hopefully the Vikings can pull off a win. It's not halftime yet. Uh, we get the ball back at half. So hopefully they can pull something off, but if they don't, good job to the Eagles. Um, I'm very upset right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, the Vikings are getting their ass kicked. Definitely congratulations to the Eagles because the Eagles are definitely gonna more than likely beat us right now. I'm leaving, so if I come back and we won, it's gonna be an absolute miracle considering there's less than four minutes left in the game and we're down three scores. And Bradford just fumbled, but he recovered it. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to end off today's vlog. It is only four o'clock, but it really like I have nothing else to do. I'm actually going out with a friend right now and I don't wanna just be like filming the whole time, so I'm in it off here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. RIP the Vikings. Undefeated record. But Vikings for Super Bowl. Yes. But yeah guys. So I will see you guys tomorrow. In yet another fantastic video. Peace out.